somebody I, I was talking to at one point in time, he was like, you know, I just want to apologize for ghosting on you. But um, I got cancer and I beat it. And then I had open heart surgery and I survived it. And I'm back to normal now. <gasps> Y'all understand that a man who almost lost his life twice was apologizing to me about ghosting and you have dudes out here who refuse to apologize for call for not calling you back i wanted to share this story because you're not crazy for wanting basic consideration and sometimes it takes extreme consideration like this to let you know that like no if a nigga who had cancer and beat it can apologize for ghosting you can apologize for just being a selfish prick and not calling somebody back. Go with your Thursday, y'all. Da -da -da. On another note, if I hear one more thing about black on black crime, it's like, I mean, especially in America, you, you, you put all the black people in a neighborhood next to each other and take everything from them and then say, why do they keep hurting each other? Um, is two plus two elephant? Because that makes sense to me. It's just, and historically, like literally across all cultures, like, it just seems like when we have, like, someone across the way from us, like, we don't consider them a neighbor, whether it's a town next to us or a village, etc. Or a block or a school. Like, there's always this energy of, like, competition of, like, nah, we're better than them. And that energy sometimes becomes violent and negative. And it's just, like, it doesn't have to be. Like, it can be an energy of competition that raises excellence. You know, like, there's, there's, like your peers, you know, that you're in competition with. And it's not like, damn, like, I don't want them to have that. It's like, nah, like, you compete with them in the sense that what you see them doing can inspire you to do more in your space. That ain't hate, that ain't jealousy, that ain't envy. That's motivation. Motivation! I've been up since 3 30 a.m., y'all. I'm not making, I'm making sense, but I'm, I'm, I am delirious. Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. On another note, I just, uh, I find folks interesting saying that, like, it's now trendy to wear African clothing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's, it's trendy because having knowledge of self is becoming trendy, and that's great. Please, we have to stop being so reductive. You know, like, black Americans were stripped of our culture from Africa, and now we have more access to information. A lot of us are able to now do our ancestry and see directly where our bloodlines come from. And when you are able to do that, when before you may not have even known how to even find out where your grandparents come from, like, that is a very special time. That folks who are from predominantly black places like the Caribbean or the continent can't necessarily grasp, but should try to because we are all a part of a diaspora that's connected in blackness.